Hello, welcome back everybody. Ashur Steve here signing in for another tutorial once again. So today we will be uh, discussing how we can connect the MongoDB database with MongoDB Compass. So without much further ado, let's kick in. So guys, uh, let's open our Google Chrome and then we'll just go to this uh, Mongo and we will go to the website. Okay. So MongoDB. Website, so now we are in MongoDB Mongo website. website. So we will just go to the product and we will just select this community server. And uh, from there we will just come down to this uh, tools. From the tools you will see this Mongo DB Compass. So select that and they will give us the version. So you just scroll down and you see this 1.33.1 uh, stable okay there are so many versions but the, i recommend you to select the stable one and right now my platform is windows so i'm selecting the 64 bit as my operating system and packet is exe so let's download that so now it started downloading and uh, it will take some time so uh, depending on the speed of uh, internet it is uh, not that big it is just 114 mb so it will uh, it should download quickly so once uh, you have downloaded it we will just uh, now it's complete so i just want to uh, open that so now let's close this and we go to the download and from here this is the one so right click and run as administrator uh, it will straight away it will uh, install that so once finish the installation open your cmd and uh, just go where the mongo is installed go to c drive and then from here go to this program files and search for mongo so mongo's db is here server then 5.0 bin okay so this is where your part is so select this part then close and you come up here then you just uh, put a code and then just come here and then put the slash and just write here um, mongo d dot exe and then close the code and run it so once this is run you just after this you just write mongo okay so that will take us to where our uh, mongo is installed so this right now the connecting to mongo so this is what we want it actually so mongodb and then slash 127.0.0.1 and then the port number 27017 is the port number so go here edit copy that after that you can close this now open your mongodb and here you can just paste in case if you don't have so right now i have already pasted and now you just have to connect this so connect and save it okay so uh what is your favorite connection you can just write a name here uh, just give a favorite name called uh, okay so i'll just give here mongo and you can select any color that you want it and then save it okay so now that will take us to our database so our database here so right now uh, we will just uh, create first of all the one database so just go to the database and if you have uh, this all this database whatever you have it will be created okay so database and you will have your documents and your collections here so right now we'll just create database first of all so let's create a database here so i want to create the database uh, 20 uh, let's say hnet okay so i just put uh, my database name like this and then your collection name so you have to give a collection name so let's give a uh, something like this 
reports to uh, two, okay. So reports, let's give this also here. Reports twenty two. Okay. So under the database twenty H net, so I have my collection called reports. So create. So now where is that H net is here, and this is my uh, right now is my collection. But there is no uh, documents created right now, so we will just create. So just double click that reports 2022 and you will see there is nothing inside right now. So let's create quickly. So we go to this uh, add data and then insert documents. So now we will start inserting the details of uh, each individuals. So click this insert documents and you delete all this. And now we will start entering the details of this one. So first of all, you need a second bracket. So open, okay. So second bracket, uh, open and close. Followed by the curly braces. Okay. So open and close that. Okay. So in between this, you have to select uh, the starting and the ending. So all your code have to be in between this. So right now here we we'll start with the double colon and just give here your details. So serial number. Let's put the serial number. And then we put here serial number. Let's put here serial number. Everything have to be in double quote. And then comma serial number one. I'm starting. And then here we'll just put uh, the next details is so we'll just put a name after that colon after that in this colon name so we we'll just give us here um, okay so we start with a look and then the next detail double quote and let's put here uh, address his address okay so his address and then uh, let's say here uh, okay so let's say he's in Mizoram and then uh, let's say here we want to uh, put in the so, so be in the code all right so now here uh, we just want to put the course it's a code so just put here okay tell the p9 let's put that okay so he's taking the course okay so let's say that next is uh, year let's put year also all right and then inside the double code so let's say 2020 okay and then comma and then uh, okay so we put here great he's great you want to put there let's find code and then great let's give here his grade is a comma and then here we we'll just put a year or uh, year we did put all the day so here okay let's give here uh, registration registration okay registration number let's say okay so registration number and then yeah so let's say here his registration number and then to 20 okay so let's say his registration number is like this so now our uh, uh, here comma is missing there and the uh, quote inside the quote okay so now here we put all these so now one person detail is uh, to be inserted so now we just put here and then we insert okay so now as you can see that uh, our first documents uh, one person detail has been inserted into the database now if now I want to enter the second database uh, documents uh, so you just you can also here go to the right side and you can also clone from here so if you want to clone delete that and uh, if you are putting a single you can still continue with this uh, second bracket and remember to close that as well Okay, so now I'll have to change some of the details of the second person. So I'll just put here two, and 
good and I have to put comma there yes so the next person I want to change is also here and let's put here now okay the person yes go and comma and next person is let's say uh, is from Mika Laya let's say Mika Laya yes plus comma and then course okay and then let's say his uh, grade is B I close the column and the comma quote and comma yes okay so uh, let's give this details like this insert as you can see that there are two details are inserted so this way you can also like uh, check it out your own database and if you forgot you can just go to this uh, left side and just you can see some of the details that whatever you have entered so you can see from there so in this way you can find out and then how many index are there two documents are inserted all this you can also see the report and there are a lot of things that you can do here so guys uh, this is it for today so i hope this video has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you if you have any doubts so give me the your comments in the comment section below and then the, uh, uh, to receive your some of your uh, doubts or comments that you want to uh, know i'll try to reply as fast as i can so please do like subscribe and share and see you in the next video Thank you.